China's president is Xi Jinping. What does it mean to say that his thought has been enshrined into China's constitution? That's the first story we're explaining today on CNN 10. I'm Carl Azuz. The National Congress of the Chinese Communist Party wraps up this week in the capital of Beijing. It's a major political event that happens every five years. And this time around, Communist Party delegates voted unanimously on a new guiding principle for their party, one that includes, quote, Xi Jinping thought on socialism with Chinese characteristics for a new era. First, this is historic. The last two presidents of China did not have their names put in the constitution like this. Analysts say it means that current President Xi will be able to stay in power for as long as he wants, that it will be harder for other officials to challenge his policies, and that China's Communist Party will have more control over life in the country. President Xi now has the same status as Chairman Mao Zedong, who founded the People's Republic of China in 1949. This will increase President Xi's power in China, and he could be viewed as more powerful abroad as well. His opening speech to the Congress last week gave some clues about President Xi's goals. He declared that China should, quote, take center stage in the world, and that no one should expect the country to accept anything that undermines its interests. 10 Second Trivia. Which of these pathogens is an example of bacteria? Salmonella, influenza, rabies, or smallpox? Salmonella, the only bacteria of these options, is capable of causing severe food poisoning in people. There's been an outbreak of Salmonella and Clostridium perfrigens, another bacterial infection, in the U.S. state of Louisiana. At least 37 people have been hospitalized. One person has died from sickness, possibly related to this outbreak. In all, around 150 cases of gastrointestinal illness have been reported so far, but health officials expect more to be on the way. The reason? Suspected contamination in jambalaya that was served to hundreds of people at a fundraiser last week. Jambalaya is a Louisiana dish made with chicken, sausage, vegetables, rice, sometimes seafood. Investigators don't know yet which ingredient or ingredients were contaminated, but both pathogens can be found in raw meat and poultry. Salmonella is a bacteria that makes people sick. You can find it in beef, poultry, eggs, fruits, vegetables, and processed foods. Salmonella can contaminate foods in the field or sometimes in the processing plant. Sometimes salmonella can get into food in your own kitchen. For example, if you're cutting up chicken on one cutting board and you don't clean it properly, and then you cut up vegetables that you're not going to cook, that's called cross-contamination. Salmonella can also live on the bodies of animals, like reptiles or chickens. So if you touch them and you don't wash your hands, you could get yourself sick. People usually get sick about 12 to 72 hours after eating contaminated food, and symptoms include fever, diarrhea, and abdominal cramps. Each year in the United States, 1.2 million people get sick from salmonella, and 450 people die. To keep yourself from getting sick from salmonella, cook foods thoroughly. Don't eat raw eggs, don't drink unpasteurized milk. The torch has been lit. In Olympia, Greece, the site of the ancient Olympic Games, it was rainy yesterday, so the flame lighting ceremony couldn't take place the old-fashioned way in which a mirror is used to reflect the sun's rays onto the torch. The backup flame from the rehearsal was used, but it did the trick. The torch will be carried throughout Greece. It'll arrive in South Korea on November 1st and start its tour there 100 days before the Winter Olympics begin in Pyeongchang. The city is located 50 miles from the nation's border with North Korea. And Olympic officials don't know yet whether the communist country will participate in the 2018 Winter Games. North Korea boycotted the Summer Games when they were held in its southern neighbor 30 years ago. But some South Korean officials are hopeful that sports can bring the two rivals together. In four months' time, thousands of athletes will descend on Pyeongchang in South Korea for the start of the 2018 Winter Olympics. It will mark another sporting milestone for a country with a long history of hosting major sporting events, which began in the summer of 88. Emboldened by the success of the Seoul Olympic Games, South Korea soon afterwards won the bid to host the Football World Cup in 2002 alongside Japan. 
Park Ji Sung was one of the stars to emerge at the tournament as South Korea stunned the sports world to reach the semi finals. Now an ambassador for the 2018 Olympics, he says it's time for South Korea to take their next steps towards building a winter sporting legacy. When I was young, I was watched you know, our uh, Seoul Olympic Games, so that impressed me a lot. And then how sports you know, related uh, communicate with the people, so how we can make the people together. We can show that our ability to the world, we, ha we have a pretty good uh, winter sports facilities and then uh, you can enjoy for the winter sports in Korea. But with just about a hundred days to go until the opening ceremony, nuclear tensions across the border are still threatening to overshadow the event. Understandably, athletes and sports federations have expressed security concerns for the Games, which will be held a mere 50 miles from the North Korean border. How sure can athletes and fans traveling to the 2018 Winter Olympics be that it's going to be a safe event? You know, it, it's kind of similar like we had the Olympics and then we had the World Cup, but actually it never really happened to something bad things to the, to the both tournament. Which, we, which many countries worried about. Always they make some noise, always they make some scary things, but actually it never happened. So your message to fans and athletes would be not to panic about this current situation? Yeah, I know if they don't know the relationship between South Korea and North Korea, they probably, yeah, they are worried about that, the situation. But from the South Korean people, it is normal. Don't worry about that, which is just this Olympic as normal as the other Olympics. After boycotting the 1988 Summer Games in Seoul, there are currently no restrictions for North Korea to participate in next year's Winter Olympics. Park Ji Sung says the Games will be an opportunity to bridge the divide between the two neighbors. If they participate, that means a lot to our country as well. So we can see the North Korean people and that we can uh, cheer up on them, we can support them, and then which can maybe make a good relationship between North Korea and South Korea. Park himself has competed against North Korean athletes before, when the two teams were drawn in the same group for the World Cup qualifiers. It's quite strange to play another country, but uh, it's pretty more family feeling. They are pretty same as us, so it's nothing different, so uh, quite great experience. This summer, in a surprise announcement, South Korean President Moon Jae-in proposed that the two divided countries should bid to host a Football World Cup together in 2030. Do you think that's a possibility that could happen one day? Yeah, it, it would be a great idea, actually, to have the World Cup together. North Korea and South Korea, always when they have a good relationship, there's always sports. So I think the world could make a, another level for both countries to get together and uh, have a good relationship. At a time when diplomacy is struggling, maybe sporting events like this can provide the building blocks to peace. Christina McFarlane, CNN, London. For 10 out of 10, some people get really into Star Wars. The owners of this house are those people. They built a two-story AT-AT walker using wood, plastic barrels, and hard foam. The homeowner says luckily his neighbors are cool. This thing weighs more than 1,000 pounds. It cost $1,500 to make. The builder's family does accept donations, but they say the payoff is helping people have a happy Halloween. I mean, who wouldn't OB want to stop sooner or later, chew back up the car to get a good Wookiee by day or Jedi night, pod racing to the site with friends or Han Solo to the Lando Imperial forces? It's the only way to see 3P yourself if this can be for real. Broadcasting from a galaxy not so far, far away, I'm Carl Azus.